Welcome to Everything Security. I am Gaznafer. In this video, we'll talk about sniffing. The different topics we'll cover within sniffing is what is sniffing, what are different types of sniffing, how does sniffing work, and what are the different tools to carry out sniffing. How do we safeguard our systems against the sniffing? So, let's start with how what is sniffing. So, we are familiar with the wire tapping. The telephone lines used to be simple circuit switched connections, and someone would just hook up to your line with a device and can listen to your conversations. But these are gone now. With the internet and mobility, the networks are much more complex in every aspect. The genius ones came up with sniffing techniques to capture your communication from complex layered protocols and devices that build your network connections to move your data from one system to another. Software called as sniffers made it so easy to capture packets and intercept your communication that all the bad guy had to do is just plug in their computers to your network and start the something called as a sniffer software. Sniffing is the cap act of capturing uh, frames or packets to intercept communication between two communicating devices. It is done either for monitoring purposes by an, an administrator or when some bad guy finally decides to steal your confidential information. So is it like wiretapping? Yes, it is something like wiretapping, but for more complex and uh, sophisticated networks. And as you see, client A is communicating to client B, and in the middle of connection, someone is connected as a sniffer, which is a software. And now the guy captures the packets from the middle of the connection. And intercepts it. Also, the man in the middle attacks are performed using sniffing tools. So, what are the different types of sniffing? Well, there are two types of sniffing active and passive sniffing. Before you understand the active sniffing, it would be a good idea to learn about passive sniffing. Initially we used hubs to connect different devices in our small and less complex networks. The hubs we used were a little bit dumb and didn't know what the consequences could be of sharing everything with everyone on the network. So whenever they received any communication from one of the connected devices, what they did next is send it to all the other connected devices, shouting, whoever it is for can pick it up, technically known as broadcast. The hub trusted basically all the devices, connected devices, and expected that only intended device will care to pick up and rest will drop the package. But the dude with sniffer running on his machine captured all communications and intercepted them. Something called as promiscuous mode, which is a feature of network interface card, makes it possible to listen to all communications on the LAN and intercept them. Basically, it allows the frames to pass through the data link layer and reach the next layers even when ideally it should be dropping the frames. And now you know what the passive sniffing is, so let's understand the active sniffing. To advance our networks, we stopped using hubs and started using switches, which do not broadcast like hubs. Switches still allow the connected devices to communicate, but the communication occurs in unicast mode which means no other devices other than the one switch allows to talk will receive any communication packages. Good job, intelligent switch. But this intelligent decision switch makes is based on switch's knowledge of which IP address belongs to which physical address or MAC. Switch keeps this IP and MAC combination information on table known as ARP table. The next morning when bad guys woke up, they had no means to capture any communication unless they could tamper with the switch's intelligence. And they did it. They invented ARP spoofing and other flooding techniques that easily fooled the switch. Either the switch got a spoofed MAC and IP combination on the ARP table, or 
simply stopped making intelligent decisions and started broadcasting like hubs after it was flooded with incorrect ERP updates. And that's when the bad guys had good news and they could capture and intercept other sys package again. And now you have just learned about the active sniffing too. At this point, I'd like to mention something called as mirroring. Basically, mirroring is a feature on some switches that gives administrators capability to capture a copy of any communication that occurs through the switch to or from any of the connected devices. And as an example, spam port on Cisco switches, also known as switch port analyzer. Basically, what it does is there are multiple ports on switch that are connected to multiple devices and now if the administrator wants to capture the communication from any of the devices and in the connected devices will simply uh, connect his machine to the mirroring port and from there he can get a copy the famous sniffing tools on the market you can try are Wireshark or snort etc and now uh, here are certain things that you could always apply to protect your network against sniffing these are uh, passive sniffing for its discrete nature uh, is not often detectable avoid using hubs monitoring for malicious activity can be done by tools such as ping tool although the ping tool is uh, for modern networks uh, is something you cannot use it anymore but if you still have those legacy networks or net uh, connections then obviously you can use ping tool to detect active sniffing can be detected by IDS or IPS uh, use DNSSEC if you have DNS in your environment make sure host file is protected by admin and etna2.1x configuration for authentication is something that you can always apply if you have uh, those uh, wherever it is applicable if you have those infrastructure where you can implement it obviously it is not um, accessible on all infrastructure so that's it thank you for watching my video we'll see you in the next Peace.